Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a pumpkin tower. We're going to come right about here, midpoint, and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot going to the left, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down and around. Come back up to the dot, slightly curved line down, around, and connect. I come back to my dot and I'm going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, connect. In each one of my spaces I'm going to draw a circle. Now some of us are going to have more circles than others. But you're going to try and keep them in the space going all the way down to the bottom of your first pumpkin. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Now I come up to the middle part, right about here I put another dot and I draw a curve line out, down, and connect on the left. Go back to the dot, curve line out, down, connect on the right. Now I'm going to draw double curve lines. Watch what I do starting at the dot. I go one, two, that's a set. 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 So you have double sets of lines. Now, starting right here on the left, I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line in, curve line out down and connect and starting right about here I draw a wavy 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 line once wavy wavy line again wavy wavy line down once wavy wavy line down again wavy wavy line down wavy wavy line down again come right at the very top draw a curve line up Curve line over, curve line down, and connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, for the bulk of this, we're only going to use two colors. First color is orange, so I'm going to color inside all of my little circles. I'm going to make these all orange, okay? And there are a lot. So, what I always tell everybody is, if you don't want to finish right now, take some time, come back to it. If you're doing your coloring so hard it hurts your hand, then you're doing it way too hard. Now I come all the way up to the tippy top one and I draw my sets of wavy lines together. I make those orange also. Okay, next color, black. Um, I'm going to come up and do my sets of two lines. These are going to turn out pretty much like stripes. These are all going to be black, my sets. Some of you might have more, some of you might have less. So these are all black. I come down and I'm going to color around all of these baby circles. Now I know and you know this is going to take some time, so take your time. Just like everything, you know, if you rush it, it's going to look like this looks kind of right now, scribble scrabble, but if you take your time, it really looks nice. So this is all going to be black. All the way up, all the way down, 
Try to stay out of your orange circles. Take your time. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay? Then, once you've done these all black, you're going to come up and you're going to color this section next to your orange wavy lines. You're going to color this all black. So it's pretty interesting you can get this kind of deviation just using lines and color, two colors, to get a different look. Now, the final thing I do is I color the very top stem green. And that gives us our pop of color. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my pumpkin tower all colored in using Halloween colors. I might do another video using the same concept, pumpkin tower, with fall colors. We shall see. Okay, bye-bye.